Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Yes, your eyes do not deceive you. It is a third video of the week. But it's nothing to do with my channel. This is to do with the community. So, I'm using the small amount of platform I've got. Because I want to shout out to other people. So, as you're aware, there's some um, amazing bod podcast out there. And there's people on YouTube on blogs trying to trying to get the word out to the masses to the average person on the street on how good Blood Bowl is how fun Blood Bowl can be and I'm shouting this out because these guys to me epitomize everything that's fun to do with the community so without further ado I'm gonna open up my channel and talk to you about these guys and as you see folks it's the two drunk flings and friends this is a relatively new podcast I would say it's about eight months old if you don't know anything about them please I implore you to get through the first six episodes uh, they're on SoundCloud they're on iTunes they're on every good podcast network there is and what it, what it is, they go into tournaments, they talk about their lists, they talk about third party, and what they do and what they find f fun. They even, they'll even come up with um, ideas to change up the game. These guys are amazing. And they're not, you know, they're not dull. They like to have a bit of fun. And tell you what, these guys get me through the working day. Even if I've got to re-listen to episodes because I know I've missed something because I'm laughing hard at them. So, these guys are not shy about coming forward. They are out there in the community preaching the good word on how good it is to be a halfling coach. And I believe they even had their own halfling team. So, I was so gutted when I, I missed that. But... That's neither you know they're going to give you some information after about that. But they get, like I said, they want to preach about how good being a halfling coach is and how fun it is. And it doesn't even matter if you win or lose, it's just the amount of alcohol and fun you can have at a tournament. And these boys preach it. And the other thing is, you don't even have to learn the rules because. Alan, bless his soul, I think he's now cr crowned NAF's worst fumble player but he, he don't care he'll have a couple of drinks he's having a laugh he's there for everything good that's blood bowl and he wants to he wants to reach out and touch you in all the good ways and all the bad ways but i'm not here to just talk about the podcast i'm here to talk about an incentive that they've started and the incentive they've started is called fling nation so if you're on your social medias like instagram or Facebook or Twitter, if you see the hashtag Fling Nation, it's to do with these boys because they are, like I said, these preacher, preaching about how good it is to be a halfling coach. Now they're coming up with incentives for that. So let me get, let me show show you what I mean by incentives. Right, guys, I'm going to say this now. I want to say thank you to the. Uh, two drunk flings and friends for sending me this information because I think this is an amazing idea that they're going to put forward. So, for everybody that knows how good being a halfling coach is, or people who need a little bit of a incentive to become a halfling coach, here's what they're doing. They're setting up their own little face group, uh, Facebook group called Hashtag Fling Nation. On there they're going to be talking tips tactics the best way to lay out your uh, your team and what happens if you're in like like in a really bad situation best way to use your tree man everything even down to like probably what beer you could take to your tournaments this all gonna be in there 
So on top of that, they've given you these badges as you can see on the screen in front of you. These badges are going to be for achievements that you log with them, that you could show in pictures, picture evidence of either being on Blood Bowl 2 or in in the tabletop game. So let me get my information here and I will go through a couple with you. So we're going to go, let's go from the top and I'm going to show you how die hard these boys are. So here we go, we got the first three in the bracket, and these are the Devourer of Souls, the Far Flung Fling, and the Glazer of the Golden Crust. So Devourer of Souls is cause five deaths to the opposition in one game. It's not impossible, it's hard. You've got to be a good you've got to be a good coach for this. But it's gonna be that the badge that sorts out the uh, the men from the boys. You've got the far far flung fling, tongue twister boys. Four one turn touchdowns from a kickoff throw teammate touchdown in one game. That's doable, especially if you've got a few crease. From the halfway line or greater from kickoff. So. Like I said, these are not easy challenges. They wouldn't be called challenges if they weren't easy. So, if they were, weren't hard, sorry. I'm just so excited to be able to tell you guys about this. And we got the Glazer of the Golden Crust, nominated as an exemplary painter of flings, raising the hashtag Fling Nation flag. So, you know, you see what these boys want to do with the Halfling community and the Blood Bowl community in general. But I digress, I don't want to just keep you with those three. We got more to have a look at. So let's get the next lot then. And our next three are the wearer of the apron of tears. Score six times in one game. Come on boys. You know, make these challenges hard. Number five is the wielder of the meat hammer of destruction. A named fling on your team causes 250 plus stroke 500 plus casualties over their history through tournaments, leagues, etc. But he's got to be with the same team. So if you're gonna if you're gonna be a fling coach, you're with them to the end. So is your team. Always behind you. So they're gonna be tough little bastards, aren't they? And then we've got. The chef ha Chef's Heart of Devotion. Complete a whole year playing nothing but halflings online, tabletop, league, tournaments, to the exclusion of all other races. You can't even pick up another team just to break it up. Um, this will be easy if you're going to try and crack these first six. The first six uh, badges because... Well, you're going to need to get your practice on with these. And I believe two of the boys have now decided they're going to be full-time uh, halfling players because they've done a year of the fling. So it's not just a challenge they've thrown out. They, they've done this themselves. So if, I, if Alan can turn on and say he wants to be a halfling coach after this, anybody want, can. But I think that's the second time I've mentioned that. I'm sorry, Aaron. You're mine and Griff's favourite. Sorry, boys. Right, come on, guys. We're riding this halfling train. So, now we've got the Defender of the Holy Crest. Pitch clear an opponent's team in one game. Okay, boys. Um, I'll be proud if I ever get that one. Because I can't do it with chaos, let alone a team that's knee high to a drunken grasshopper. But I digress. Now we got the meatball missile. You're gonna get between fifty and thirty opponents killed by th by throwing a fling. So they want you to, I don't know. 
have your opponent's last image being a halfling ball sack to the face, probably. So, yeah. I'm glad it's just the one meat ball, not the two. Otherwise, it'd definitely be the last thing they see in a Maybe the badge representing it. Fucking hell. And now we got the holder of the, the oven glove of fate. Get four wins in a six game tournament. Let's sign up to NAF boys. This is your time. And get that badge. I really want that badge. So. Yeah I think I'll be signing up to NAF after this. Well done, boys. You've made it. You've you've got me interested. You you. This is a good way, and I hope my viewers are interested in this as well. So, yeah, yeah. I'll get these badges. I'll get them. I collect them all. I'll go Pokemon on your ass now. Now we got the recipe of doom. 30 to 60 deaths of your flings by failed throw teammate landing fails whilst holding the ball. Yeah, yeah, uh, that's uh, if that's what you're relying on, yeah, that's that is a recipe for disaster. So, what you you've named that really well, boys. And if you see the way Griff rolls, um. I think you should get this probably within the first month. So, yeah. Oh, it's going to be so much fun. And then we've got the Herald of the Fling Nation. Proponent of the Fling Nation, either on forums, webs, fa fan. How oh, is it? Fan, fan sites or bodies of work, usually nominated by fellow flings for this. So, this is the community badge. So,. There you go, guys. It's not just what you can do; it's what you do for your other, other, other coaches. So, yeah, boys, I think I think you've done well with these badges. This is an amazing idea, and I'm not even finished yet. So, I I'm already got a smile on my face thinking how much the community is going to come together for these badges. So, I said this at the beginning that I'm so excited about this, and I've said all the way through that, um. I want to get these badges. I think you've already made a fling coach out of me, because I I'm going to spend I think 2020 the year of the fling on the channel. I want these badges. It's, it's something about it's something about this this I don't know the collecting part part of it that really that really gets to me and it's probably going to get to a few viewers of the channel and the podcast as well. So. Before I uh, go completely off on one and try and get as many third party uh, third party halflings, we've got the game of scones. Dun, 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 dun. Two hundred touchdowns against fellow fling teams. Mm. Yeah, yeah. This is this is. You're in it for the long haul, I know. So yeah, but um, yeah, yeah. That's what's that? That's twelve badges, and yeah, guys. Um, if you've noticed, they it's just not stopping because we're on to our last two already. So I'm gonna break out the pictures now. Hi right, guys, I know you're not gonna believe me, but uh, the Fling Nation train has no brakes. And we got down to our last two. So we've got the Warden of the Cutley Row, eight or more wooden spoons from tournaments, and we got the two drunk flings, fling for size comparison. So there you go. You've got 14 badges that these guys are looking to produce. As you can see from the pictures, they are, I think, the demo badges at the moment, and they're going to be going out and getting these mass made for everyone that's going to take part in the fling nation so um let me let me take these off the screen now and then i'm gonna just wrap up in what i'm saying all right guys that's the short and short of it is that the boys from two drunk flings are setting up an achievement badge collection for fellow fling fling 
coaches. So this is going to be amazing. This is going to bring the community even closer together because, like I say, it's a community. It's, you know, we always look out for each other because, you know, who who understands, you know, Blood Bowl players other than other Blood Bowl players because we've all got that slight, that slight mentalness to to our way of thinking because we just we want out there to have fun and just throw pe people about on the on the pitch of course but yeah these guys have done an amazing job i i can't i can't say enough about this this is amazing i've only just done the video this video is going to be probably just over 15 minutes long and already they've made a future fling coach out of me so guys if you're like me and you want to support these boys there's going to be a, a facebook link down down below in the description for you to head on over and you know and show show your love for the people who are trying to push forward the community in the podcast like through podcasts and social media interaction and interacting with each other with each other in the tournament so if you do that guys um tell them i sent sent uh, you over uh tell them that we're out there sharing the love because yeah i i, I think these guys are doing an amazing job and i say that as if you guys probably don't know who they are and i think if you follow me you probably know who they are because these guys are bigger than the channel but in case you don't um head on over to itunes soundcloud wherever you go for your podcast and give these guys a listen because they are amazing they are amazing I, I can't stress that enough um oh one last thing one last thing before we go hang on let me get my and through the magic power of editing, I've got my cup of tea. Right. As if these guys don't do enough for the community by setting up this badge badge system, they've also announced today that they're releasing a... Oh, I say releasing. They're doing a giveaway. So you can get um, a third-party fling team, and it's got two three-man, all, uh, all halflings, and there's a, I think they got one or two star players. But I've already put in on this. I've already submitted my entry to the competition. And I suggest if you want to get in on the half lane action, you do it with the best miniatures out there. You might say, oh, the GW ones are going to be better. I don't think so. These things look amazing. So, like I said head on over they got these social media they're on facebook they're on twitter they're on instagram i they, they probably they probably everywhere you probably turn a stone a stone over in your garden they're probably going to be there do you get onto this competition you get you get your halfling team and you rock those badges because as soon as i get a halfling team i might disappear for a month because i'm going to be painting them I want to be getting those badges ASAP and yeah I know Griff has seen these as well and he is a well he is a full-blooded two drunk flings fan and he's gonna want to be rocking these badges himself so because of because of these guys I think you've got two new people signed up to NAF and you're gonna have two new people on the tournament scene we're not gonna know what's happening we're probably going to lose every match, but we're going to be the two Welsh people drunk in the corner just giggling at themselves. So, thank you boys for everything you've done so far in the community, and I know you guys are going to do so much more in the future. So, I just want to give a big thank you, big shout out, and I just want to share the love. So guys, remember, hashtag Fling Nation. Get you a passport today. Oh, and by the way, the competition ends 26th of April so what are you waiting for head on over don't let me stop you I'll be here again so thanks for everyone from the channel thank you for listening thank you again to the two drunk flings and their friends 
for allowing me to bring this to you. And I shall see you again.